I'm Laura Osnes. I'm Santino Fontana. And we're from the Broadway cast of... Motown. Here to answer your questions. Cinderella, we're not from Motown. All right, this question is from Emily. If you could do a Freaky Friday swap with any star currently on Broadway, who would it be? Ooh. Ooh. Sandy and Annie. The dog. You want to be a dog for a day. I just want to be petted. Aww. Thank you. Thank Good you, question. Laura. This is from AXA. If you could swap roles with any Tony nominee in your category, who would it be and why? Oh my gosh. Yep. Um, that's a tough one. Part of me wants to say Bettina Miller because I want to do all that cool trapeze stuff. I don't know how to do that. You know, well, to tell them that you were, we both played leading player in high school. We did, actually. We both have been the leading player <laughs> in high school. I have a feeling our takes were very different. Congrats on your Tony nomination. Well, thanks, Janice. Since nominees get interviewed a lot, what's the most ridiculous question you've been asked? I think the most, it may be the most ridiculous question was uh, being asked, um, who discouraged you the most and why? Right? So I was like, I don't like, want to, really? Didn't believe Can in we you? just be happy? That's all. That's good. From Tony, what was your first encounter with Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella? Julie Andrews, question mark? Brandy, question mark? I, thank you, I actually learned um, in my own little corner, which is Cinderella's kind of theme song from the show, when I was about 10 years old, my voice lesson class, I sang it for a voice recital. And uh, yeah, I saw the Brandy version in 1996, but wow. I have yet to see, or whenever year it came out, I have yet to see the Leslie Ann Warren and the Julie Andrews all the way through. Bye bye! <laughs> Who is your favorite real life prince? I don't have a, I wouldn't say I have a, I like Prince, I, I like that Prince Harry gets in trouble. I like that. Uh, but that's, that's I nice. like Prince William's wife. I like her. She's pretty great. Who was your favorite princess when you were little? Um, I have to say Aladdin was my favorite Disney movie, so it's between Jasmine and Belle, probably. Cinderella was not really first on the list, but I like playing her now. From Elise, you have a cool first name. Why did your parents <laughs> choose it, Santino? <laughs> Who is this from? Elise. Hello, Elise. Uh, my parents won't admit to this, but they, uh, do you know The Godfather, Elise? Why am I asking you a question you can't answer? <laughs> um, anyway, in The Godfather, James Caan plays a mobster named Santino, nicknamed Sonny, who is known for many things as well as like getting shot up in a car. My parents, I was like, did you guys name me after James Gunn's character in The Godfather? And they're like, no, no, we just like the name. Their wedding song, the Godfather theme song. So you do the math. They didn't think I was very bright, so they lied. But they won't admit, they still won't admit it. They're like, no, we just like the name. Mm. I don't think so. Da, 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 da. That's good, but, embrace it. We like it's also name. a weird song choice. So you're getting married. So it has is, to be. I'm, it's more than coincidence. Into therapy, I should lie down. Okay, <laughs> Chelsea from Chelsea. Do you ever get annoyed when Santino tweets about your shared stage moments? <laughs> no. Do you have a favorite tweet he wrote? No, we don't. We don't get annoyed. We kind of. In fact, there was a couple nights where I was like, we should tweet about what happened tonight. And then you didn't. And then I didn't. I got tired. And I cried. So no, we we like we play off each other in that way. It's funny. No, it's funny. Yeah. And we we embrace it and. Um, no, I never get annoyed. I don't take it personally. Well, there's that. I never say anything bad. You do it out of love. I never say anything bad. No, sometimes embarrassing, but all, what? but it's okay because. What have I said that's embarrassing? All, all of them are embarrassing, like, like chocolate what? in my teeth and like. You had it wasn't chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> what was the other one? I don't know. Like ripped. There was something that like ripped. I don't know. I kid because I love. That's it. It's all out of love. And then I, I kid right back because I love. So. From Mora, rhymes with Laura. If you had to cast Herman the Fish in any role in Cinderella, which would you choose? Hmm. I think Jean Michel. I think so too. I think that would be the best. The student revolutionary who's in love with Marlon Mandel's character, Gabrielle. I could just see him with a little hat on. I'd be very good at it. Well, where's the time? <laughs> I just blew my cover. I'm the I voice. Was just say, Not everyone knows. That was actually from Maura Tierney. No one knows that. 
Let's go. This is from Kira. Hi, Kira. Given the success of Animals on Broadway, could you and Lila ever star in a show together? And um, what would it be? Lila is her dog. Ah, uh, gosh. Well, what's the only, I mean, Annie. You could be Annie. Oh, Legally Blonde. Lila actually posed. I had a friend that was doing Legally Blonde regionally, and Lila posed as the dog for the photo shoot, which was really cool. So uh, maybe I could wear a blonde wig and do Legally Blonde with Lila <laughs> somewhere. If you do Legally Blonde somewhere, I'm buying a ticket, and I'm flying there. Great. <laughs> no See matter you could play Emmett. That I wouldn't. Emmett? Is that his name? <laughs> that I wouldn't. <laughs> you said that you auditioned for Annie as a child. I did. And what was the reason they told you you weren't cast? I was too tall. From Zoe. What's your funniest onstage mishap? Oh. <laughs> I have a lot. Um, <clears throat> just this happened the other day. <laughs> Greg. Oh, Greg Hildreth. Yeah. This happened like two days ago. Greg Hildreth on stage, there's a moment where we come together and this particular show, we were all very tired and a lot of like weird little things happened that no one else would notice, but we noticed. And he was like, I feel like something's off tonight. I was like, yeah, everyone's kind of just doing weird things. Like it's just weird. And Falling then apart. five seconds later, he <laughs> drops his hat and I started laughing and I couldn't pull it together. But I don't think anyone knew. But I don't I think knew. knew, but I, yes, knew. they did know. Because you said, <laughs> no, they didn't. Because you said, uh, now everyone, off to the free. I you couldn't finish your line because you were laughing. But I was doing motions. That's right. So people got the story. But yeah, we've had some fun mishaps. From Ashley, what was the first thing you thought when you realized you won the Broadway.com Audience Choice Award for two for favorite actors two years in a row? Aww. I don't. I was so just honored. I, it's the, it's so sweet to that Broadway.com does these like awards from the fans, and. Um, it was, it was felt very nice. It's a thank lot you. Of, thank you, Baba.com fans. Okay. Thank you for voting. Just and for us. Next year hasn't started. Favorite Let's pair. Just, you know. okay. okay. From Gabe. If your next show were a jukebox musical, what music would you want it to be? Ooh. Ooh, Stevie Wonder. Easy. He plays it in his dressing room. Ooh, it's pretty great. It's hard to beat Stevie Wonder. From Lee. Everyone talks about your baking. Oh. What's your signature recipe? I do like to bake. I would say my go-to item is banana bread because I usually don't eat all the five bananas that come in a bunch before they go bad. So I always end up with bad bananas and banana bread with chocolate chips in it. It's my go-to. Tell us something we would be surprised to know about Laura. Does she have any vices? Oh no. You know, here's something you'd be surprised about. This isn't really embarrassing, sadly. Her dog poops the bed a lot. True. It's not true, actually. Poops the bed, not Poops, the not bed. Not the bed. The her poop thing. Whatever. I don't have a pet. <laughs> <laughs> My dog had diarrhea like a week and a half ago. It happens all the time. <laughs> and so she didn't make the wee wee pad very often. Which uh, what is a wee wee pad other than like a sponge on the floor? That's what it is. That's gross. <laughs> don't. Like I'm sorry. <laughs> we live in New York. No. Yeah, exactly. You live in New York. You no. don't have a yard to let your dog out. So in. don't. A have lot a of dog. people do it. That's don't the fans I love, love dogs. Lila. I love dogs. When he met Lila. Lying. I brought Lila to work once and he was like, mm, okay. That's right, I understand. I was trying to focus on my craft. Is that that's the secret thing that people don't know about me and my dog poops on the floor. I don't want to say anything about the other problem. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Princess Diary is the best vlog ever. Wow, thank you. What has been your favorite part of creating <clears throat> these hilarious and insightful videos? I don't know, I kind of just document life that's happening backstage. And uh, we have a great cast, so it's really fun. But I think my favorite thing was doing that thing with Greg and with, <laughs> and ba like bashing apart your oh yeah your thing. That was a little more of a planned episode, which was your idea <clears throat> about doing our day jobs. Yeah. And uh, Santino had this TV like, like shelf thing system. that he had to bash up because you were moving and you couldn't move it. So we took a field trip. And, <laughs> and literally ripped out. apart his thing for fun. And then, yeah, seeing Greg dressed up in tights and selling, trying to sell Chicago. People took him really seriously, too, remember? People came up to him and were like, oh, we're seeing the show Saturday. Greg's like, yeah, two shows. He, like, he was totally in it. And people on the street took him seriously. That was really funny. That was my favorite, my favorite moment. 
and you and us like laughing at each other. Couldn't handle that. The thing is, you were the worst because Greg, like it's we so tried funny. to take it really seriously and you would ruin every take because you were laughing. Okay, this is from, from Matt. Matt. Describe Laura in five words. <laughs> Mucho. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> kind. Aww. Plug my ears. Is it embarrassing? I don't think you should plug your ears. Small. Uh, sweet. Mm -mm -mm. Girly. And. I think that was five. Oh, is that five? Do one more for fun. I said mucho. Mucho, small, girly, kind. Sweet. Kind. Sweet. You sweet. sweet. Oh, that was five. <clears throat> from this is also from Matt. Two timer. <clears throat> Describe Santino in five words. Oh, see? I was worried that I might have to. Bring it. Oh gosh. Um There's so many words that come to like you but you were pretty simple with mine. Okay, so funny. Makes me laugh a lot. Um Sarcastic, but in a good way. I like that one. Okay. Silly. That's that's like funny, but you're silly though too, and Whoa. you're also um, witty. These are all funny adjectives. No, you're witty is a good same, one. But these are all related to be funny. Keep and going. smart. It doesn't matter. You're so you're that's incredibly. Different. He's incredibly smart and really multi-talented. Like he has secret talents that nobody knows about. If someone had to say what's Santino's secret talent, I would have given it away. He knows sign language too. I'm loving it too. He speaks sign language. You are. Hey, thanks for sending in your questions. Yes, thank you. And come see us in Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella. At the Broadway Theater on 53rd and Broadway. <laughs> it is. Bye. Bye.